Day 34. I thought we'd play with something a little different today, combining some things you've already seen over the last 34 days for mobility, um, but also applying a couple new patterns to use as uh, both warm up and mobilizer and also a little bit of a test piece. So with today, solid um, roll hypervolt before you head into dynamic range of motion. After dynamic range of motion into three minutes of uh, run, row, skip, bike, solid pace walk, any of those things that move some blood through the body, and then into our test retest. So today the test retest piece will start with a squat, but it's gonna progress in complexity from there to other patterns. So between each mobility piece, we'll retest the pattern, starting with squat. With the squat, so the first set is 10, all the rest of the sets will be five. With that squat, just thinking about comfort through the range of motion, range of motion, symmetry, how the body's feeling in that position. Can you hit depth? Are your feet flat? Could you wiggle your toes at the bottom? Is your chest upright? Where do you feel tight? How's the body feel in set one? So solid work through those 10 reps, assessing into mobility piece one. First piece, manual ankle mobility. So just like we talked about yesterday, is just moving through, moving the foot through range manually. So working through the toes in the metatarsals and just working through some range. We're only gonna spend about 30 seconds aside on this. So it's not gonna be too much. You can use your thumbs to just mobilize a little more uh, independently each segment. You can move the heel through some range. You can also work up the Achilles on this with just a bit of a uh, old school friction. Having retested five more squats, we're gonna move on to rolling the low body. This takes maybe two minutes total. Um, we're just gonna hit that sort of low leg between the uh, ankle and the knee quickly because we're gonna be coming back to here. So we're just gonna cruise up to that range. This is actually better done with a firmer uh, roller, but initially for this stage, uh, this will be just fine. So cruising through, moving with purpose, all the way up to the knee. As you get to the knee, and you can spend a little more time there than that, but as you get to the knee, switching to thinking of side, 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 side. So each side, we're gonna get 10 sort of up and down rolls on. So outside, inside, front of the leg, and then back of the leg. So 10, 10, 10, and 10. Switch to the other side. I'm right, gonna retest five more squats. Coming off the retest, into rolling that lats with our sort of standard 10, 10, 10. So 10 on the side, 10 on that 45 degree angle, 10 on half the back, switch to the other side, 10, 10, 10. And then we're gonna cruise up and down the T-spine, moving into extension and flexion and get a little rotation in there. We'll do 10 like that. And then we're gonna sub out the foam roller for the double lacrosse ball. Find the position where it's balanced with one ball on either side of the spine. And we're just gonna work one inch at a time from sort of mid back up to a position that's sort of reasonable high on the T-spine, bottom of the C-spine. From there, we will retest another five squats. So we've done our five retest squats to assess how the last mobility piece went. Now we're gonna add in four Cossack squats. So taking a nice wide stance, there's different ways you do this. You can hold a weight or object here. This is how we're gonna do them. So we're gonna shift to one side, keeping the heel anchored, not letting that knee track too far over the front foot, down to the bottom position before standing up and switching to the other side. As we descend, we're gonna keep the toe pointed up towards the ceiling, 
Think about that position, fighting for that upright position. And again, assessing on how these feel, comfort through range of motion, uh, position, how the hips feel in that range, and those sort of pieces. We're looking to see positive improvement, so your first set doesn't have to be the best set. Next piece, we're gonna roll glutes, high hamstrings, and then work our way around the side of the hip into a little bit of the front of the hip. You can either go, I'm gonna use a harder, uh, I believe this is a baseball, uh, versus a softball, which I have a tendency to squish with this movement, uh, or you could use the lacrosse ball. Any of them are gonna be just fine, but we're gonna just cruise around through the glutes, and we're not gonna spend a ton of time, we're only gonna devote a minute aside total. So from glutes into high hamstring. So that insertion just below the glute. Uh, we're gonna cruise around through there. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. Same thing, cruising around through there. Then we're gonna move to the floor. So as we move to the floor from this position, that's how we're gonna tie it into the side. So with this, we're gonna move into a position where we can roll a little more into the meat on the side of the hip, and then we can cruise around just a bit into that front position as well. And we'll switch sides, and like I said, about two minutes to get it all done with this before we do another mobility piece and move back to costume. Okay, with this piece, you can use a band, but you don't need to. So if you got the band, we can do a bit of a lateral distraction piece. So we can step through, set it up high into the hips, move into a push-up position. And I'm just gonna raise, bring the knee forward a bit, and then move that hip into external rotation before settling down into that position and just holding that. So we're just gonna stay out in that position. If you feel like you can move a little further away, with the lateral distraction, you can move a little further and then reset that position. But we're just gonna hang out here, and this can be 45 seconds to a minute on either side. And then we'll retest that cosset squat. We're gonna switch to the four inch PVC from the foam roller. You don't have to, but I find it makes a big difference. So one inch at a time on this. We're gonna spend a little more time here and we're just gonna cruise all the way from one side, one inch in sort of rolling range to the other side before moving up to the next inch and repeating the same thing. And we're just gonna cruise from the ankle or where the top of a normal sock would be. I mean, not so much a normal sock, uh, but we're gonna cruise up to the top. And we're just gonna make our way through that range before retesting the Cossack squat again. Okay, this is the last stretch that I'm gonna, that we'll sort of assign after this, it's kind of up to you, but calf stretch. So with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my heel uh, close to the post to get my foot, so the base of that heel is maybe two inches away. I'm gonna have my hips back to start this pattern, and then I'm gonna pull my hips forward to the railing and my shoulders back instead of maybe a little more classic version where we end up tucked in close to the post with our chest um, and head. So we're just gonna hang out here and just try to relax that calf. We'll spend about a minute aside on this position before we retest Cossack squat. Okay, working from that last set of Cossack squats into alternating single leg squats. So with these, there's lots of ways to do them. Here's how we're gonna talk through them today. Using a box you feel definitely comfortable with if you don't already have the range. With our heels against the box, we switch to supporting our weight on a single leg, make sure our foot feels grounded and gripped with the floor, and we're just gonna descend and control till we find the box, and then standing up from there before switching sides, descend and control till you find the box, and standing in control. Avoiding losing control to that box position, and avoiding getting in a spot where as you come out, we hinge way forward and then stand up. So descend and control, find the box, stand and control, switch sides. Working through that range. As you feel comfortable, optimally, 
you can work down one inch at a time doing sets of four. So a set of four, I would drop down to maybe something that gives me about 19 inches of height, 18, 17, 16, until I'm at the edge of where I'm still maintaining quality movement, but I'm, I'm sort of pressing what I can do well. If you've got a good uh, single leg squat, then we're just gonna head into the reps. So, you know, a sock foot is gonna be much, much harder than a shoe, which really, if these are at the edge of your position, but you're kind of close, a lifting shoe will make a big difference. It'll both change the range of motion required in the ankle and provide you a little more stability. Otherwise, if you're gonna tackle these and head straight into them, do make sure you're focusing on the quality of the movement over your speed or how many reps. So what we're looking for for working sets on these today is excellence in movement, whatever range you're good with, and doing four sets of anywhere from four to 20 reps. So descending smooth and in control down to the bottom position and back up before switching sides. And again, finding that stability, smooth and in control, and then back up and switching sides. See how it goes? Let us know.